Okay, people, we are back about one year since the beginning of this series. It's 1929, and like I said, if what you people... What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put the last little bit of clips as the final episode so that people who, you know, really like legit series and just want to see everything legit will be able to say that I complete the series up to a certain point completely legit and it's fine. Okay, that's what I'm going to do is say like that's finale one and this is finale two this is part two finale because i don't feel like well i don't feel like i lost that war first of all i was we were winning pretty handily we occupied all of canada and all they did was they just destroyed a couple different troops over here in india that's all they did that's all they did so i'm pretty mad about that so what we're going to do is we're going to redo the uh, canadian invasion i mean not the canadian the Cubian invasion. And we're going to redo our attack on... Our attack on the, uh... The uh, British. But this time what we're going to do is going to make sure... That we do not call in our Indian brethren. As much as they would want to help us in this war. And they definitely did want to help us. They killed us last time. So let's not do that again. Okay. And so... Yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing from here, people. Um, our athletes are victorious. Oh, yeah, we had the Olympics. <laughs> uh, simulation must continue. Open up all factories. And so, yeah, if we're going to be... I guess I'll also take a little bit more precaution this time in, in like, you know, going to war. And I'll start angling my troops a little bit better. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be crazy if I'm going to be going to war. We gotta have our troops on the borders already. Yeah, I think I'll take just a little bit more precautions this time. And let's see. Is Scandinavia already in this, by the way? I just want to know that. Are they already at war with uh, the British? No, they are not. So, we'd basically be the first ones to bring them in or rope them into this war. Which would then create a great war, which... We're gonna see if we can maybe emulate the great war again. I hope we can't do that again, because that was... Really kind of tough the first time. Hope we can just do what we can and keep that battle advantage because that was... Oh my goodness, that was really stupid how we lost that just because of the battle advantage. But, yeah. Um, yeah, let's just... I'm, I'm just going to try to not think about it. I'm just going to continue on from where we were. And low subsidies. Wait, I didn't do... They don't want it this time? No, they want low subsidies. Yeah. Games glitching out on me just a little bit, but everyone wanted low subsidies the first time. Of course, they wanted it again. Yay! Also, that immigration. I mean, look at that. I have so many. Let me see. Let me see how many immigrants are at the end of the game. Six thousand, two thousand. Yeah, I am still bigger than America. Hmm. Yeah. Spread the word. The cause of freedom. We were discovered. Oh shoot! No. Anything but that. I would never want to be discovered. That's really bad, actually. That's that's actually really, really bad. Okay, let's see. Let's first let's declare war to conquer little Cuba. Okay, let's see. America and America should call me in eventually in this war because they did it last time, like six different times, and I was like, no, 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 and I finally said yes. So, they should call us in at some point in time. And we're just going to go invade Cuba again. Just do exactly what we did last time. Conquer these guys. Take their tank factories. And make them ours. I mean, that's rubbish. If we get a planned economy, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> we, we've had a planned economy before. Okay, and let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's do this. And let's move on. And yeah, bureaucrats have now basically taken over violent elections. Oh no, that means there's a lot of hatred in our country right now. That is not good. That is definitely not good. We're also taking over Cuba at a good rate as last time. That's good. That's good. It's good times. Good times for everyone that we're taking over Cuba. Let's go right here. And let's see if we can give America a hand again in our war against, against the British. 
No, uh, America, you know, I'd be really surprised if America doesn't call us in again like they did last time and just, like, keep us out of it. Which, I guess, could be fine, but I'd really want to be in this war so that we could, like, maybe do some more differences. But, I'm pretty sure they're gonna call us in. Like, pretty sure. They called us in, like, six or seven different times, and we were like, No, we don't want to be called in. Stop calling us in. We don't want this. So... Let's see, we almost got Cuba, and Cuba's almost back underneath our control. I'll just say that the other timeline was alternate timeline and us doing our simulations about what would happen if we brought India into the war. Yes, that is how we explain this one, is our simulations of how the war went. Okay, let's see, we're going to add in uh, trade, protection, free trade. Let's get these guys in good. Okay. Cuba, you're now officially departed. There we go. Thank you for your time and effort, Cuba, for being part of our massive new empire. Let me start upgrading you immediately and put, like, massive amounts of effort into getting you guys into good taxation levels. Thank you and have a nice day. Okay. So, now that we've got all this underneath our control, now what we need to do is just wait for, uh, just reopen up all the factories. We just need to wait for the Americans to call us in. Are they really not going to call us in this time? Hmm. Okay. Maybe maybe they won't call us in. Maybe maybe this time we will just cruise. Which would kind of stink for the final finale of this series. But let's see. Let's just get... Yeah, let's just take down all of these things. The building. Get a little bit less days out there. Hmm. Wow. I literally swear we discovered those in two days. Okay. Next one. Let's get to the next one. Wow. Technology, man. Technology is the future. Jazz, everyone. Hey! Everyone, we discovered jazz. Woohoo! Go jazz! Okay. Yeah, right now our army's building up. We now should be building up everything that was associated. Yes, we got tank factories and all that. That's good. Okay. Wait, wait. Whoa! Okay, okay. Why are we not buying this stuff? Oh, wait, that's ammunition. <laughs> I was like, wait, why are we not buying this stuff? Oh, because it's ammunition. I was like, I thought that was tanks there for a second. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. We have a lot of tanks. Okay. So I'm trying to see. Maybe I need to go a little bit lower. Let's say a ma minimum of... Okay, let's just try a minimum of one. Let's say we have to have a minimum of... There. Okay. There, we have to have a minimum of that many tanks. Oh, wait. A little bit more, just so I can see if I can influence this. There we go. There we go. Okay. And stick capitalism. Yay! The liberals are back in power! And now they gave me a matrix. <laughs> yeah. It's laissez-faire. Laissez-faire is giving me, like, major bonuses to my economy. So if the liberals stay in power, I actually would not be mad this time. Because they're actually giving me a lot. Okay. Wow. Liberals declare victory. Good job to you liberals. Okay. And... I don't believe America's gonna call us in this time. Hmm. That kind of stinks. I would actually... Honestly, I would love to... Hmm. Let's dissolve the alliance for a second. Maybe get him back in the alliance. Call for the alliance again. Become friends again, and let's see if maybe that will stop the events. So I'm trying to do this right this time. Oh wow. America now hates me? What? Why would America hate me? My buddies! Wait! What the heck happened? This world is weird. Why would America hate me? We're buddies. I've been at the I've been their buddies for like years. I mean seriously, we don't we don't mess around when we're buddies. We're Americas. What happened? Seriously, what happened? Like we were like friends and now we're not friends and now apparently we're enemies. What? America, you're weird. <laughs> Northern America, you're weird, I should say. South America is really awesome. Let's see. Infamy. 
Distance, too many alliances, army strength. Hey, my army strength's not that bad. Base reluctance. You guys were my friend for like years! How would you guys have base reluctance? I mean, okay. So, apparently in this timeline, I won't be able to go to war with anyone because, apparently, it's just, they hate me. They severely hate me. Wow. Well, that kind of stinks. It was, it was an epic time to think of that we could have maybe done something really, really cool, but, hmm. The Colonial Expedition is open. Yay! For once, we actually did it. <laughs> Okay, well, splendid idea. The colonial affairs is a great idea. Okay, uh, Philippines have a little bit of issues. Uh, they can deal with it. That's not too bad. China's really China and nationalist China. I now, how do you? I I don't know how you would rectify this whole entire situation over here in China. Like, who do you acknowledge as mainland China? This is actually, I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering this because it's like there's two Chinas, there's nationalist China and there's China right over here, like, and then there's Anali Click, which technically, if I was to consider, would be the China for me, but they don't have Beijing, so they're not China. So who's China in this situation? There's three different claims, and everyone's attacking each other, which is really interesting. Let's see, America, you guys aren't smart enough to do any kind of alliances or spheering, so. Uh, this war is going to go on for a long time, which is a good and bad thing, which means we might be able to gain in on it eventually, but Platean communists are trying to invade Havana. This is why I always keep an army right on islands, because islands are one of the most annoying things to guard. But when I get... Whoa! Shoot, man. A lot of these places collapsed. Okay, wow. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's just destroy all of these. Wow. Oh my goodness. A lot of these places collapsed. Like a ton of these places collapsed. Wow. Wow. Just. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. The liberals took power and this is what happened. Oh my goodness. Wow. They literally destroyed most of my economy. Oh, I guess most of my factories are now gone. Wow. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Okay, I hope I hope my capitalists can get on this immediately. Because now they have I have tons of different workers now. Now they're costing me social welfare. And there we go. Still got a couple factories I didn't quite close. And there we go. Oh my goodness, La Paz! Okay, nah, just open up all these factories again. That's that's like an entire region collapse. There we go. Alright. Wow. And just keep just keep everything open. While the while the liberals are in power, just keep everything open. I'm not closing down anything else in this timeline, but wow. Oh my god. Just keep everything open, don't worry guys. I'm not letting it close on you. Because I don't care whatever these guys say. I'm not closing my factories on you. But, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow. Just, wow, guys. I I have literally no words for how much it's just like... Oh, good. Okay. You guys accept our alliance again. Okay. Now, America, will you guys call us back into this war? Or... Would you guys call us into this war? Because I'm totally willing to help you guys out. Like, totally, utterly, no questions asked, willing to help you guys out. You guys just need to call us in. Come on, America. Call us in. Call us. Call us. Okay. Well, while they're deciding if they're going to call us in or not, let's decide if we want to go attack anyone else. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. That was something I didn't expect. The Chingay were actually the ones who conquered Anning Klink. Okay, so the Chingay are going to be really China? I guess they're going to go in and go conquer the rest of all other China? Yeah, they'll get war with other China. 
I, I guess once they conquer Beijing, they, they are technically the acknowledged China. Because they have more land than everyone else, and I don't feel like fighting. I don't feel like getting too political into this, so yeah, if once they win this war against the Qing guy, they become China. Because you conquer you conquer Beijing and you own most of the entire world. I think that basically makes you China. Yeah, I, I kind of think that. Okay, yeah, I'm all factory <laughs> Just keep them open. Just keep them open. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. I, I can't even I can't even fathom this right now. Like my mind just trying to wrap itself around it, but it's just like, oh, <laughs> uh, dreadnoughts. We now have the dreadnought capabilities. I don't think we can actually build dreadnoughts in the end because we just don't have enough. Let's see. In Cuba, we have to make sure that we're building our. Yes. Okay. In 106 days, we'll start building our, you know, tank factories. Actually, you know what? I really don't. I really don't want you guys in on it because I kind of want as many people as I can working those two factories. So we're just going to be working this. Also, I'm going to be encouraging immigration over here because I'm going to need to fill these factories as quickly as possible. Wouldn't normally, normally exercise to an outer place colony, but or an outer non-touchy. Just, I would not do it on mainland. This is not mainland La Plata, but we need to make sure that these factories are filled up as quickly as and as quickly as possible. I didn't really have any other words except quickly and quickly. So, let's see. Once I get enough people here, we'll be able to start. Well, once the factory's open, we'll be able to start doing stuff. Uh, America! Yes! Mmm, yes! Okay. Okay, okay. Did they get out? Did Canada get out? No. Good. Okay. So, what that means is that this time, we're only calling in all my South American allies. Okay, we're not calling in any of India. What what did we learn last time? Don't call in India. They will not. They are not a big help. <laughs> uh, and immediately what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, once I have an opportunity to, I'm going to add a war goal to go get more stuff. And I'm going to go right here. And we're going to just casually start conquering the islands. Let's see. Oh my goodness. And... With that, people, I want to thank you guys for watching. That was an entirely new time lapse I had to do, an entirely new thing I had to do, and just now we're gonna now we're gonna get back into the great war that we were fighting originally, cause that's what we do. We get back into our great wars and we get back into everything we're gonna do. And are, are you guys actually gonna lose to other China? Really? Is Beijing China actually gonna become real China again? Oh my goodness, this would be awesome. This is the the, the situ the history books are gonna write a lot about this area because that is like major, majorly like a lot of stuff happening over there. But I wanna thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of really a lot of stuff happening. And so hope you guys will stick with us because this will most likely turn to another great war because Britain will most likely call Germany in again. And we'll mostly call Scandinavia in and we're about to have another great war, so. Hopefully this will all work out, so I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time!